Motorola's budget device just arrived and it's time to get it out of the box. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Motorola Moto G. What we're looking at here today is not a device that is just the biggest, baddest thing on the market, but it's something that we've all been really wanting to get our hands on to see what it's really all about. It's not the biggest, baddest thing, it doesn't have the fastest processor or the best camera, it doesn't promise any of that. But what it does have is a very compelling price point. This is the Moto G from Motorola and it's sort of like the smaller, cheaper sibling to the Moto X. This one is much cheaper. This is the 16 gigabyte model and it retails for $199 and the 8 gigabyte model retails for $179. So it's very, very cheap and its internals aren't terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. So before we get too far into this, we'd like to thank our friends at Clove for supplying us with this review loaner. If you'd like your own, you can go to Clove and order one right now. So without any further delay, let's get inside this box and see what this phone is all about. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to open the box, but we're going to set the device aside. It's just right there. We'll get to that in a minute. Under this flap, there's really not a lot to get excited about. There is a micro USB cable for charging and data transfer and a few pamphlets. Uh, you've got safe, smart, protected, let's get started guide and uh, removal of the battery door, a little explanation of how to remove the battery door. And that's it. Um, can't be too upset because this device costs about a third of what most smartphones cost off contract. And uh, yeah, you can't expect too much to be in the box. So right off the bat, you can tell this is very, very similar to the Moto X. Um, there are some differences and you can see them immediately, especially if you've spent any time with the Moto X. Um, for one, the speaker grill is different. The, the front facing camera is on the other side and uh, there's a little more trim here. You can't see that without the display on, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the speaker grill is a little different and there are just a few slight differences all around the device that really kind of show how different it is. And we have our custom Moto X here and you can see the camera placement and rings are very similar, but the speakers are on opposite sides. So there's that. They both have the dimple. They both have the same plate port placement, which is your three your USB, micro USB on the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. Power and volume rocker placement are very similar. And the fronts look a lot alike. Um, you can tell that they're very similar, very closely related, but one of the biggest differences, and if we can get this display turned on really quickly, that's the biggest difference right there that you're gonna see, at least design-wise, is this display is not edge to edge, this one is. So there's that, but this is a 4.5 inch 720p display. It has a Snapdragon 400 on the inside, so it's a 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU. Um, it has one gigabyte of RAM and the camera around back is five megapixels, so it doesn't have the clear pixel camera, but it's a five megapixel camera. Basically, this is a bare bones smartphone but it has a bare bones price. So for $179 um, or $199 in this case, this is a very, very impressive smartphone. Um, so there's a lot to be said for a device that costs about the same as any other device on contract, but offers you know, decent specifications and a very similar build quality to one of our favorite smartphones this year, the Moto X. So we're gonna get very friendly with this device and learn the ins and outs of it. We're gonna be comparing it to other devices, namely the Moto X. And uh, we'll get back to you with some reviews and comparison videos, as well as some other editorials about this phone in particular. So stay tuned for all of that on Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time. That's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up button below and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future, as well as more Moto G coverage over the next couple of weeks. And be sure to like and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.